this video, I'm going to go through how I sculpt hair. There are many ways to sculpt hair. With this method, we'll insert a sphere and use that as our base to sculpt from. First, we'll insert a new sphere into our list of objects. Press X on the keyboard to make sure that symmetry is activated. At this point, we're just blocking out the major shape. Turn on DynaMesh, and at any point in this process, drag out a rectangle to re-DynaMesh the model. Use the inflate brush to add volume to the hair. Turn your model to the top. We're going to define the part. Use the damn standard brush and draw out a part in the hair. I'll use the move brush to pull the hair to the side, keeping in mind where I want to place the part. I'll use the damn standard brush to define the front edges of the hair. Since this is stylized hair, I can just have fun with it and find some good shapes. From the side, I'll start defining the major clumps in the hair with the damn standard brush. From the part, I'll pull it down and follow the forms of the mesh. Rotate your model for the best possible view. And pull down a nice line from the part. It's at this point where you can be really creative and create nice flowing shapes. Make your way around the head, always starting from the part. Think about how the hair flows down from the head. Look over the model and see if there are some areas of the mesh that would benefit for a few additional clumps of hair. Now we're going to go through a process of adding weight to the hair. Select the move brush and start pulling your hair into shape. Think about how gravity would affect the hair. Pull the hair along the bottom and create some interesting curves. Use the damn standard brush to emphasize additional edges.
Continue shaping the hair with the move brush. Now we're going to clean up some of the clumps of hair. Select the dynamic trim brush. Start going around the model, knocking down the high points between the lines. This will help eliminate some of that bulgy look. I'll continue to refine the shape of the hair with the move brush, like pulling in the bangs and shaping the flow of hair on the sides. I'll go back and emphasize the part with the damn standard brush. I'll lightly press down on the model until I can see the head through the hair. Check around your model, and if you see some areas you want to emphasize, use the damn standard brush to sculpt those forms. Use the clay polish button or turn polish on Dynamesh to give you even crisper forms. I'll go over how you can create some simple clothing using the extract feature. In the subtool menu, make sure that your character model is selected. I'll use the inflate brush to add a little volume to the chest. Hold down control and start to draw out the area where the shirt will be. If you hold down Control and Alt at the same time, you can erase parts of the mask. When you're done drawing out your mask, hit the Extract button. This will give you a preview of what the extracted mesh will look like. If you like that, hit the Accept button below the Extract button.